So if you're wondering how to get here, you have a couple options. If I had to translate Ertugol uh, Resurrection, this is like the Game of Thrones. So Sarah is going to explain who these people are here uh, that are buried. This is Halima, yeah. So this is Bala Hatun, the wife of Osman. Hi guys, welcome back to another travel vlog. Today I'm really excited to share something really special with you guys. Today we are in Eskishe, right outside of it. And we're standing right in front of Ertugul tomb, which is the father of Osman. And he's the founder of one of the greatest empires the world has seen, the Ottoman Empire. So with that said, my name is Ahmed and let's go check it out. So when it comes to getting here, you have a couple options. So the first one is to hire a tour company. You know, you can do it on TripAdvisor, you can do it on Viatour.com, and then you can do it on Airbnb as an experience. Uh, they'll bring you here. They will also take you to Bursa, which is uh, where Osman, his tomb is, that's where he's buried, third son of Ertugul. So that's one, one thing you can do. Second thing, in my opinion, is the best one, is you can just rent a car. It's literally three hours each way. You can spend the night at uh, Bursa, you can spend the night here, wherever you prefer. But you can rent a car from Istanbul and make a one day trip out of it. So that's what I recommend. There's a guard show, it happens every hour. So they're about to change the guard show. Sara is the expert at the Ertugul Resurrection show on Netflix. If you've not seen it, you definitely want to watch it. It is very, very addicting. Yeah. So Sara is going to explain who these people are here uh, that are buried. So Sara, over to you. Okay. Who's Turgut? Turgut. Turgut. This is Turgut, this best friend. Best friend? Yeah. Ertugul? Yes, Ertugul. And this Kunul, and this is two best friend. This one's best friend as well? Yeah. yeah. This one is, died first? Yes, this is died first. And the other one is Akcha. Is uh, so they, these were his uh, close, close uh, friends. Yeah, this one is uh, all is uh, son. Where's the wife? Here. This is Halima. Yeah. She died when she gave birth to her third son, uh, Osman, which ended up being the founder of Turkish Empire, right? Yeah. yeah. So this is the other son. This is the masjid right next to the uh, Ertugul tomb. Candy, candy. 
Mm -hmm. You got you got free cherries? Mm -hmm. we, we get again. So Ertuğrul, or Ertuğrul Gazi as they say in uh, Turkish, died in 1280. 1281, 13th century uh, Sultan. He was a son of Suleyman Shah, the leader of Kaye tribe of Uzgus Turks. Now, how did they end up here? That the story goes, they fled from Central Asia to Anatolia, aka current Turkey, to escape the Mongols. According to uh, legends, after the death of his father, Ertegol and his followers came to this town, Sogut, on the frontier of Byzantine Empire. So this was the, literally the closest point to Byzantine Empire, and that's how the Turkish Ottoman was able to grow so fast and then be able to conquer the Constantinople aka Istanbul because they were literally the first group of Muslim tribes at the border. Now when it comes to Ertuğrul, now there's a huge series on Netflix called Ertuğrul Resurrection. It comes in different languages so for all my folks out there in Pakistan, India and then even Malaysia and Africa they are in different languages of the show but this is the most popular show in Turkey it ever Pretty much ever in Turkish history when it comes to show. It's breaking all kinds of records. So if you've not seen it, jump on Netflix, Ertugul Resurrection, and I'm telling you, you'll be hooked. If I had to translate Ertugul uh, Resurrection uh, show to what we what we watch in uh, US and UK, this is like the Game of Thrones, but it's in Turkish version. So this is what they call the nickname, the Game of Thrones of Turkey. Hi guys, so we are near the first masjid, first Ottoman masjid, temporarily closed for renovations, but it's just literally like a five minute drive from the uh, actual tomb. All right guys, so just 30 minutes north from Ertegol's tomb, you can get to Osman's uh, wife's tomb, Bala Hatun. And then also right in the same place is Bala Hatun's father, which is Osman's uh, father-in-law, uh, Sheikh Adabala. Really nice place, high in the mountains, amazing views. All right guys, this is the tomb of Sheikh Adabeli. He is the father-in-law of Sultan Osman. Osman married his daughter. This is the tombs of him in the end and his relatives. So this is Balahatun, the wife of Osman, Artabul's third son, founder of Ottoman Empire. And then the one behind it is um, Adabali's uh, wife, which you just saw a few seconds ago earlier on the other side. And these right here are my kids. Mm -hmm. You guys know them? And it looks like there's also a trail here, guys, that you can walk to the waterfall in the end. You can see it stairs there, and then it transitions to a wood walk path. It looks like it goes into the mountain, it comes out of the mountain. That's pretty cool. 